Rich the Kid became CEO of his own label Rich Forever Music and helped popularize the dab dance that would be copied by countless celebrities, entertainers and even Hillary Clinton. But Rich the Kid expanded into new genres making tracks with Bieber, Kodak Black, Young Thug, Steve Aoki, Diplo, Jaden Smith and even managed to get Frank Ocean out of hiding. It was like uh, I guess it was like a marketing strategy. Oh, okay, keep them like, um, hidden yeah. away. Before Forbes named Rich the hardest working in the industry, touring back to back and spending his days off in studio, bringing his net worth to an estimated one million dollars. Runs don't look like this. He ain't hitting no shit. Before Rich the Kid got booked for three months on tour with Migos when police raided their bus and found marijuana, illegal substances, and unregistered firearms. Even though when I was locked up, I was still dropping songs. You know, of course. Dropped the song with Fetty Wap. Rich the Kid was born in the slums of New York but raised in the projects of Atlanta. His family had very little when he was growing up so he resorted to theft. Unfortunately he wasn't very good at it and kept landing himself in jail. Soon he teamed up with some of his fellow robbers on a new career path, one that would land him more bank and in a little less trouble. What's going on guys, my name is Michael Credden, documenting the life of Rich the Kid prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous. We've also done Before They Are Famous on Migos and Young Thug, but we're actually working on updating those. If we've done bios in the past that you think deserve an update, let us know which ones right now in the comments down below. Alright, let's roll that intro. Kid was born Dimitri Leslie Rogers in Queens, New York on July 13th, 1992. His parents came from Haiti and spoke Creole so often in the house that Dimitri was able to pick it up fluently on his own. Coming up on the East Coast, it was no surprise that his biggest musical influences were Nas, Jay Z, Biggie, and Tupac. Yeah, that makes sense. After his parents divorced when he was 13 years old, Dimitri moved with his mother to College Park, Atlanta, and soon he was listening to rappers like Young Jeezy and T.I. Young Jeezy, I have done it before they're famous on. T.I. I have not. Maybe I should get working on that. In school, Rogers was a class clown and a troublemaker. His parents came from nothing and the family struggled to get by. As a teen, Rogers had a job at Wendy's, but that didn't last long. So many people started coming in on that Saturday. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, Fucking I hold on, this is too much. He was fired after a week and wouldn't have a normal job like that ever again. My first job was actually at a chicken store and the, uh, the manager was banging all the waitresses. And they were all old, it was gross. Anyway, Rich the Kid, he thought about being a basketball player for a little while, but after his first studio session with a guy from Alabama when he was 16, he had his sights set on rapping. Sure, the kid liked to smoke, but he had found a career path where that wasn't going to be much of a problem. Money was still an issue at this point and Dimitri was in and out of jail for back to back B&Es and thefts. This was devastating for his mom, but it was his grandma who wasn't having any of it. After giving up on him changing his ways, she kicked him out of the house. It just so happened he was hustling with three cousins that formed a rap group called Migos and Dimitri was rapping under the name Black Boy the Kid. The four of them they met up just as Kid was looking for a new place to call home. He ended up moving into their house and they started collaborating on music. After some hard work Kid started to see the bank account grow and changed his performing name to Rich the Kid. He collaborated with his cousins on their mixtape Streets Unlock. Then the Migos hit it big with their single off their debut album Versace and soon Rich was reaping some of these benefits. They were touring around the states and during performances began unleashing their new signature your move. I'm up like you sneezing, like, like you sneezing. <laughs> yeah, you like you sneezing. <laughs> The dab started out as just a way to describe their fashion that soon evolved into a dance move and people took it and ran with it. It seemed everyone was doing it but didn't know what to call it. That's when Rich the Kid decided to take things into his own hands and clear up the confusion. What are the steps to this dance? To the dab class, this is how you dab man. In 2014 the four released Streets Unlock 3 mixtape and Rich saw his biggest hit yet. Jumping like Jordan was blowing up but Rich didn't just want to be associated active Migos, he wanted to make it number one by being the hardest working guy in the game. He kept up an insane work ethic and followed through with contacts he made before. Soon his next solo project had names like Fetty Wap, Young Dolph and Rich Homie Quan confirmed to make an appearance on it. He released Flexin on purpose in August of 2015 and has been on the rise ever since. As for the rest of the story, well you know the story because this is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCred and we do all sorts of celebrity bios on here. You guys have been requesting this video for a very long time. I see all your requests on Instagram and Twitter and on Facebook. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know as always in the comments down below who's next, who to update, and uh, where I uh, where I shop for clothes. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>